Yeah, how's, how's your week been? Been all good? Both been okay? Yeah, it's been a good week. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, nice to spend time in the grass and uh, work towards this weekend's game. Uh, it's been a good good chance for us to go out and watch some games as well during the week. As a staff, we had all the staff out at games on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, it's been a positive week so far. New signing yesterday, Maxime Biermu. Uh What will he bring to your team? Experience, uh, know-how, uh, really good professional. Um, so he'll add uh, a real good uh, vibe about the place as well. Um, He's obviously a good, good player uh, as well. You know, he's um, obviously not played a lot for the last year and a half or so, but in fact, very little because of an injury. Um, but we want to try and help him build his, his match fitness and build his fitness and get him as strong as possible. Um, and in the meantime, hopefully he can help us, which I'm sure he will, of what we have seen in the game against Tranmere, the training. Um, he's obviously had some training sessions with other clubs leading into coming to us. So... Um, we feel it's a good signing for us at a good time and it's allowed uh, some of the younger players to go out and play some football as well. So I think it's a win-win for everybody. You've just mentioned that uh, um, he hasn't played in, in quite a while due to injuries. <coughs> Is, has it just been a kind of getting him up to speed and obviously, you know, just making sure that he's at the level that you need him to be? Yeah, I think it's uh, Max obviously knows where he's at in terms of his fitness levels and... Um, his fitness levels are okay, but it, you can't replicate anything. You, you can get people as fit as possible, but f games and minutes and, uh, is the most important thing for a football player. If you asked any of them, it's that match day sharpness and you know feeling that burn in your legs after 60, 70, 80 minutes. And, um, that's what we want to do. We want to aim him to get to that point where he's, he, he's, he's, he's ready to go and start games for us. Um, at the minute, he's probably not at that. But he, uh, you know, he certainly can affect us, um, uh, you know, for the rest of the, the remainder of the games, whether it's for 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes, um, you know, and we'll build them up slowly. Um, you know, we've been working hard with him already with extra sessions for him and extra running stuff and stuff in the gym. And, and I know we'll get him up to speed fairly quickly that he can certainly come in and affect our team. Will he be available, like coming off the bench on Saturday? Is he? Will, will he just be straight in? Yeah, I, th I think. So, I think so. Yeah, I think we're still waiting on one or two ticks um, because his last club was in Scotland, so we need to wait, wait for the for all that sort of stuff to go through. Um, but I wouldn't imagine that it, it it would hinder him being involved on Saturday. So um, I'm sure. He'll, yeah, I mean, he's he's trained again, trained well again today. Um, we'll take it by day by day and see how he is become come Saturday How did the deal come about Grant? Just we know look we obviously get lists of players out of contract all the time and um, I've never been really one to bring loads of people in to, to trial or to train because I like one once you've got your group up to be fair I like to, to work with that group um, but when we find out there was a possibility of um, Max and, and him wanting to come in to train with us then you know, both parties were happy for that to happen, and uh, since he's been in, he's been a breath of fresh air. He's he's added that little bit of experience in and around the place, and um, a really good character as well. So it's uh, yeah, that's how it came about. Now on the website, on the uh, kind of club statement, it said short term contract. Will that is that until the end of the season for Max? Um, it it is what it is, short term. Yeah, uh, look, we've two months left, haven't we, of the season? That's all it is, and that is short term. So. Max will have 13 games um, to go and hopefully score some goals and help us win some games and uh, that's all we're looking at at the minute. Moving on to uh, Timothy Lowton Tyler, the first clean sheet of the season for him since he's come in. How, what are your thoughts on his performances? Yeah, very good. Very good. He think, I think he's deserved more than just one for his performances um, and the team's performances. So, uh, yeah, again, he's been a, a breath of fresh air. You know, again, he's a really good character. He's always smiling, lovely guy. Um, wants to learn, wants to get better. Um, and I knew this anyway. You know, Barry Richardson at Hull um, doesn't sign goalkeepers that he doesn't think have a real, a real, real chance. And um, you know, and, and I, knew, I knew that he'd be a really good character as well, given what Barry recruits in, in, in at Hull. Um, and he's he's delivered all of that really. Um, big personality in and around the place. Hates losing. 
um, even in training, you can see the, the the real determination and the anger when it, when he concedes goals. And I think I, I like that in goalkeepers, you know. And I've grew up playing um, at West Ham and clubs like that, where goalkeepers used to hate conceding. And and I think one of the goalkeepers, Stephen Bywater, I don't know if anyone remembers him, was was probably a prime example of that. Like he just hated conceding goals in, in training or shooting drills or anything. He'd kick balls away. And Tim's a little bit like that. You know, he has that edge about him and um, that winning mentality, which is really pleasing. And I think he's a, he's been really good since he's come in. Does that set such a good example, especially to, to your defence? Not just the whole team, but to your defence, that your keeper just hates conceding goals. So he's, he's got that drive not to. Yeah. And I think it, I think it sends that... Through the through the the club and through the the players and through the and through the other goalkeepers that we've got, because um, I think that's the, mi- the min- mindset and the mentality you need to have that nobody wants to concede, and uh, particularly the goalkeeper. And when you do concede goals, people tend to look at the goalkeeper first, uh, and and can he do better? So um, Timmy has that mindset of you know trying to keep the ball out of his net um, as much as he can, and it's it's good to see that on an everyday level. And uh, I bet you're not surprised to say that, well, to know that he's becoming quite the, the fan favourite. Yeah, I mean, look, he, he he just keeps performing, he keeps going out and, 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 and doing his thing. And obviously Kyle Leather and, um, and Steve Hernandez here, the, the goalkeeping coaches are excellent, so they work very hard with all the goalkeepers and, uh, you know, we're pleased with, with the progress of them. So it's uh, it's nice to see. You're on a real good run at the minute, five unbeaten in the league. Uh, the last couple of games as well, you've seen that partnership with Richard Wood and Tom Anderson. How how impressive has that been? I think it's been really pleasing. I think, again, real good experience between the both of them and, and, and know-how. And uh, they know when to play. They know when to, to go longer. They know how to, you know, they know how to manage certain moments in games. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a real plus point for us particularly over the last three or four games with them too and um, long may it continue How important is that? You know you just mentioned the experience within the two you know especially when when you won the up against Wimbledon like last week trying to see out those those final minutes to get those three points how important is that? Yeah, it's, it's massive I think uh, you know you can't well you can but as I'm saying you can't buy experience and, and that's what it that's what it's it just it is what it says on the tin really. It's um two lads who know their bodies and they know their game, they know their their strengths, they know their areas that they're possibly not the best at. So they, they maximise everything they have every single day when you see them. Um you know, they know when to, to step off things, they know when to step out of a session if they need and it's gone on too long. It's it's good to have that you know, and I give them that sort of trust to do that as well and um you know they're they're two tremendous professionals. Tom's Tom's just I know, I know Tom probably obviously a little bit more than than Woody, but work, working with Tom the first time I was here and even again you can see the the high demands he puts himself and um, how he works and how he trains and Woody is no different. You know and um, just disappointed that we lost him for quite a chunk of the season because of a a calf injury that, that just didn't go away and it's. Um, He's been obviously a little bit frustrated with that as well, but it's great to see the both of them fit in the firing, and uh, hopefully we can manage the both of them through to the to the end of the season. Now, the keeper Delican and Matthew Craig are two other players that, that have made a real impact since since coming into the building. How how have they found it? Yeah, I think they're enjoying it. Um, they they train every day with a smile on their face. They're playing with a smile on their face. Billy Waters as well has made a massive difference to us in, in terms of how hidden how he plays, how he goes about his training, his character. Um, I think, like I said, I've mentioned it a couple of times, I think that the recruits that we've brought in in January have all settled in very quickly and, and made a huge difference to the to the changing room, whether they start or on the bench or, or not involved. So, um, Jay McGrath is another one who, very good um, for the first two or three games when he came in and obviously picked up that little injury that set him back a bit. Um, and unfortunately for Jay, he's just found himself out of the, out of the team because of the form of others and you know that's what we want we want competition for places um, but no doubt that he's going to have a really successful career because he's he's got all the tools especially in january how important is it to to have recruits like I say that just come in and hit the ground running straight away i think i think there's a lot more that goes into it than just picking a player and bringing him in and going well hopefully he hits the ground running i've spoke about it before about the process we use to bring players in and how 
we we see them fitting into our team. So um, there's a lot goes into it. Uh, whether 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 they do or don't, do they fit it? And yeah, there'll be times sometimes where you may take a, a, an odd gamble, but these were certainly not gambles. These were players that we had tracked and watched and um, had our eye on, uh, and right at the top of our list. So um, pleased that we, we were able to get them done in January. Well, for the way on Saturday, uh, injury update first. How's Zane Westbrook looking? He's looking good. Trained all week. Um, possibility that he might be back at the weekend. Um, so massive boost for us to have Zane back in the building and or on the training pitch. Uh, he, he's obviously we just need to to be very careful with him, but um, to have him back for the remainder of the season will be a huge boost for us. You um, yourselves and Walsall, two of the most informed teams in the division. What what a contest this could be? Yeah, the, the, I feel that Walsall are doing very well, playing with a lot of confidence. I watched them a couple of Tuesday nights ago when they played at home to Morecambe. Uh, Lee Glover obviously watched them again on the Tuesday night there against Accrington. Um, confident, strong, threat at set players, play with a good energy, uh, got players that can hurt you if you're not on your, on your guard. Um, we know all about them, but again, this game will be about what we can do. Um, how can we go there and, and put a plan in place to see if we can get ourselves another three points? And that's what we've been trying to do all week. And let's see if we can do it again. How good it would it would it be sorry, to to make it three wins out of three, especially with it, if, if it, it would be a real good away win on the road? Yeah, I think we've picked up a bit away from home. I think we looked a bit strong over the last three or four games that we've gone away from home. So. Um, we want to finish the season strong, you know, and I said this uh, five, six games ago, and um, this is the next one for us, the next, the next hurdle in the way as well. So um, one, of the, one of the form teams, probably the form team in the division. Um, so it'd be a tough game. Uh, always tough at the best cut, to be fair. The stadium's a little bit tight and the pitch is a little, can, can look a sort of way, look on the eye a little bit tighter. Um, and they seem like they've got it going there and they're strong at home. So we know it'll be a tough game. And finally, Grant, just on other injuries, have you got any, any other updates on any players, maybe some missing out? No, everyone seems fine. Um, Jack Senior again has been training this week, so he's very close. Um, Liam Ravenhill has been stepping up his rehab. Won't, we, will probably won't, we won't see Liam again this season, but he's been pleasing to see him out on the pitch after the lengthy layoff. And uh, John Taylor's been back in the building, um, again working rehab and trying to get back. Ben Close came in today. To see all the boys, obviously still in a brace, um, but yeah, it's nice to see some of the boys, obviously you know, in and around and still involved, and one or two maybe not be able to play again. But um, we have that sort of unity here that we we keep want to try and keep everybody in, involved as much as we can.